Democrat coalition just tried to forcibly remove Trump. He responds with incredible surprise. Liberals are absolutely outraged that President Trump called on Americans to boycott the NFL, where they're now trying to make the asinine claim that the NFL is a private enterprise whose First Amendment rights are now being infringed upon. The anti-Trump Democratic coalition has even filed an ethics complaint against Trump earlier this week, claiming the president is using his position to influence the employment decisions and practices of a private entity. But unfortunately for these clowns, reality has just smacked them right across the face, and Trump has an ace card he's about to play in response to liberals' latest vicious attack. Nathan Lerner executive director of Democratic Coalition Against Trump One thing people don't realize is the NFL currently gets over a billion dollars in taxpayer-funded federal subsidies each year. The fancy stadiums that these entitled players continue to kneel and disrespect our country in were bought and funded by the American taxpayer, where we foot the bill for 20 NFL stadiums since 1997. That being said, the NFL's claim that their corporation is a private enterprise is complete lunacy. Now outraged fans have an even bigger justification for demanding that these nasty protests stop, because these stadiums were bought and paid for by the U.S. taxpayer. Now the NFL's gravy train could shortly be coming to an abrupt halt after what Trump has planned for them. Michelle Malkin of The Daily Wire reports, since 1991, Taxpayers at all levels of government have foot the bill for football stadiums to the tune of an estimated $1 billion every year. Over the past decade, new tax-supported NFL stadiums rose up for the Indianapolis Colts, the $720 million Lucas Oil Stadium, the Dallas Cowboys, the $1.15 billion AT&T Stadium, the New York Jets and Giants, the $1.6 billion MetLife Stadium, the Minnesota Vikings, the $1.1 billion U.S. Bank Stadium, the Atlanta Falcons, the $1.5 billion Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and the San Francisco 49ers, the $1.3 billion Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Next in the works, a whopping $2.6 billion stadium for the Los Angeles Chargers and Rams and a $1.9 billion stadium for the Oakland Raiders when they move to Las Vegas. Left behind? An $83 million taxpayer debt on two decade old renovations to the Alameda County Coliseum that the Raiders are abandoning. Now, just three days after liberals filed their ethics complaints on President Trump for his calls to boycott the NFL, they're getting smacked back in the face with a nasty little surprise. There. It's now a bill currently being reviewed in the House and Senate that would ban the use of money for financing NFL stadiums meaning their hefty chunk of taxpayer cash could be dried up overnight with a swipe of a pen. Well, how about that? It turns out that there's even more that the government and taxpayers do for those players than just show up at their games and buy their overpriced jerseys. Apparently, our hard-earned tax dollars are going to help out with those stadiums that we only get to enter when we pay an additional fee, Cat from Freedom Daily reported. What's even more problematic for the NFL is after these subsides were granted, Americans were promised an enormous multiplier of jobs and benefits in return for their investments. But that's never come to fruition, as sports economists have concluded repeatedly that the effects of stadium subsidies on employment and economic activity are negligible or even negative. The NFL, its teams, and its sponsors continue to benefit from a bonanza of tax-free loans municipal bonds, rent waivers, and property tax exemptions, the Daily Wire went on to report. Unfortunately for the anti-American NFL, empty stadiums and plummeting viewership could soon be the least of their concerns. If these subsidies suddenly end, all the NFL would have to fork out their own money to build and maintain these fancy stadiums, meaning they'd have no choice but to listen to their angry fans and put an end to these protests. As these cocky players continue to disrespect our country, our police, and every American soldier who has fought, bled, and died to protect America, the one thing they didn't consider was the will of the American people. After refusing to listen to their vast patriotic fanbase, now they'll be incurring the full wrath of GOP lawmakers who overnight could ruin everything for them with this wonderful new piece of legislation. Please do not forget like on videos. 
and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us, and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook, and liking it, and follow up, and thank you for watching.